What makes my pasta primavera different is how I prepare my vegetables, by roasting them. So the first thing we need to do is prep, prep all the vegetables. We're gonna start with the carrots. They've already been peeled, so they're ready to go. I'm gonna cut the ends off of them. And I wanna cut the vegetables in about a matchstick size and length. Next, zucchini. Summer squash. They're just as versatile as zucchini. They're more tender and they're light. And I love the color. Now for the onion. And the onion kind of gives my dish a sort of spicy, sharp edge. It works really well with the vegetables. And roasted onion caramelizes it's so good. All right, let's just slice up this onion. Now, the sweet bell peppers, a yellow and a red. These roast fantastically and also the colors last. So it's another vibrant color. And then, you know, that's what this primavera is about. Lots and lots of colors. My vegetables are done. I'm gonna toss them with some olive oil. Nice, lots of olive oil so that way they don't burn or stick to our baking sheet. Salt, of course. Freshly ground black pepper. Okay, and some herbs. And I'm using herbs de Provence, which is just a mixture of herbs that are commonly used in the south of France. Fennel seeds, rosemary, thyme, sage, marjoram. I know this looks like a lot of veggies, but vegetables are mostly made up of water, so they'll shrink down considerably in the oven. So you definitely need this many vegetables for a pound of pasta. We're gonna bake them in a 450 degree oven for about 20 minutes. So we've got a pound of pasta, and now we are going to add, I'm just gonna help myself out here, our roasted vegetable, look at those. Mm, I can smell the herb de Provence, all of those herbs. The thyme, the rosemary, the basil. Look at those colors. All righty. And see how they shrunk down? There's a lot of water in vegetables, so you wanna make a lot, a lot more than you think you need. Get that little last onion. And now, our cherry tomatoes. We're gonna toss it all together. Wow. Okay, now, it needs some Parmesan cheese. It almost creates a creamy consistency to the pasta and all the vegetables. And it'll melt in your mouth. All right. I am ready to take a bite. Let's put some on my plate. Wow. Cherry tomato. Still nice and warm. Some veggies. Mmm.